What's up, everybody? Come out, Arrow. There goes Arrow, running around like a madman. What's going on? Got a cool video today. It's very random. I got a little unboxing to do. I have a new, another new passion slash hobby that takes all of my money. So that's cool. And you guys might think it's cool, you might not. I don't know, this is like a test video for this that uh, I wanna do to see if you guys end up liking it and thinking it's cool and wanna see more of it. And if you don't, then we won't ever do it again. But first thing we're gonna do, so I'm gonna show you guys around the farm. We're gonna run there. Right now, as of today, deer season opens in four days. I haven't checked my cameras in a while. I only got two out there but I haven't also given you guys a tour at all yet. So what we're gonna do today is gonna take a quick tour. I mean, a quick tour, because it's already 5.15 right now in the afternoon. So we're gonna buzz around. I was gonna show you guys kind of the food plots, the tree stand set up for this coming year. Check the trail camera, show you if anything's out there worth showing. Then we'll come back, unbox the, the box, and get into a whole new world. We're here at the farm. Troops are coming. I'm gonna wait for the helicopter to go away, bye. So like I said, this is gonna be super quick. There is a, uh, holy cow, they built a spider's nest off. Look at the spider's nest they built in like a week. It's gross. Oh, I'm all in it now. It was connected to the wall and I'm all, all, all inside of it. Uh, what was I even trying to say? Yeah, it's gonna be super quick. I just wanna run out and check these cameras, get a better idea of kind of what's going on in two of my most areas of interest for me. But again, like I said, haven't showed you guys the farm yet. Good opportunity just to do a quick tour of it and show you guys, update you guys on what's going on. So I'm gonna unstrap the four wheeler, pull it out, head out into the food plots, I guess. Why not? All right, this is food plot one and two-ish. This is set up for a west wind. I got a ladder stand over here, watching some clover food plots. And then I have uh, a ground blind, pop-up ground blind over here that is mainly watching over clover and a brassica mix and turnips actually. Everything out here this year is, is based solely on, uh, on clover. It just comes back every year, kind of handy. Plot looks really good, nice and green. So with any luck, we will have some daylight pictures. I know I'm silhouetted really bad, but I didn't bring my tripod, I just grabbed the camera, so just bear with me guys. Can't really tell. This this uh, card reader's crap. <sighs> it actually appears that my trail camera is dead altogether anyway. <sighs> I don't know when it died, but thought I had fresh batteries in it, but apparently not. That's frustrating. We'll uh, We'll go on to the next one. So, basically, this food plot behind me is all pretty much clover. Kind of runs into a little bit of a pinch right around this big pine tree. And then the other side of this little wood line is another little, really small, eighth of an acre food plot. 
ladder stand right in the middle can shoot to this side can shoot out in front and can shoot to that side pretty good spot i've never been able to run a camera out into here which i'm going to this year because there's a lot of trails coming in through the grass to come to this clover i haven't run a trail camera on it in a while last year it just did okay on trail cam pictures but you never know that's that spot anyway so this next spot this whole field all out through here behind me and all back down up through this hill last year we did a food plot and i'm trying to do a little bit smaller plots this year thinking maybe just maybe the smaller plots will make them feel a little safer and they'll actually move in daylight but again this plot right down in here looks gorgeous this year it's doing really really well i got a tree stand right up in that pine tree it was a really small tree small tree can only get one stand in it this next spot we're going to can only get one stand in it as well because it's one of those trees that does this but no camera on this one yet either i did have a camera on it a lot of nocturnal but there was some daylight so that's what i'm trying to figure out this year is what can i do to get these deer to come into these food plots during the day a little more frequent last year i sat three months saw one fawn on these food plots so that's a little discouraging when you spend that much time money and effort on doing this uh, but the deer herd is looking pretty good we got a lot of fawns so i guess it's worth it in the end because we we're getting healthier deer and that's that's the goal but um trying to figure out what to do to get these things to come in during daylight again a little more frequent so we're coming out to a brand new food plot for us this year and i don't think it did very good it was really 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 rocky soil made it tough to actually till to be able to lay seed down yeah it doesn't look great not gonna lie but there is some food in there i wouldn't call it a food plot really necessarily but it is an area that uh you know has some new growth this grass this green grass here it's mostly grass but there is some new vegetation coming up that they might want to eat tree stand is right up behind me uh in a cherry tree and it, again just i think i climbed four or five different trees on this day that i hung this trying to uh find a tree that would actually work for two stands i wanted to be able to see down this this like gas line but i was unable to do it without being really far away there's a branch right here that i got a bunch of deer does box everything hitting already as a licking branch i wanted to be able to make sure i could shoot to that cherry tree it works but it's one of those crooked ones where you can get one stand that's you know nice and somewhat comfortable to sit in the other one would be like canted or forward or way back or but for the whole self-filming thing it'll work that's for sure definitely some deer i won't be able to tell until i get back to the computer if it's any of the bucks that i'm looking for but i definitely see some deer so that's good so yeah that's pretty much the farm in a nutshell not a whole lot has changed since last year still getting a lot of nighttime activity um, but trying different things to see if i can swap switch it up and and get them to come in a little earlier but i got pretty good hopes for this little this little food plot behind me even though it's not really a food plot at all but i got high hopes for it a little bit at least seeing some deer that's kind of the farm guys it's not a not a whole lot to it this year i didn't get to put much effort into it well, had time wise and didn't get to run trail cameras because they've all been up north for moose so just one of those years that i'm gonna kind of go by deer sign and just kind of hunt what i like and what feels right and hope for the best you know so yeah let's head home and do some unboxing of some stuff all right why do I always say, why do I always start with an, all right, or, well, I don't know why I do that. Back in the garage, back at my, my place. Let's see if we can make some room. Let's see if this, oh yeah, that should work. Something like that. Huh? How's that? That's pretty good. All right. New hobby. Huh. Just what I need is another new hobby. This hobby's a really hard hobby much like the taxidermy which i am still trying to do taxidermy i can't just go to the store buy deer hides and do all that so it's really hard to practice that kind of stuff because i either need to have an animal or someone needs to let me have their animal in order to practice and do the taxidermy i need to do so that i can feel 
confident enough to go take the test and actually start charging to do so. This other new hobby that I have now all of a sudden is a ton, a ton of fun. Let me show you. So I am into axes now. Always been into axes. The fact that you can mate metal to wood and actually get it to stay and be a usable tool is always something that's been really cool to me. So I've been going to yard sales and I got a really good buddy that's like way into it, Joe, if you're watching, Joe. He's way into it. He's got hundreds and hundreds of heads. I don't have that much time, and the biggest problem is I don't have that much money to spend on them. But I'm going to as many yard sales and garage sales as I can at Old Collins, picking up old head, heads for five, ten dollars here and there. Uh, there's a lot more that I would like to get that are a lot more expensive. This was all nothing but rust when I got it. Just bringing it back to life, putting it on handles, and making it a usable tool again. I know it's kind of big right now, um, and it's something that, like I said, I'm pretty much a novice into it. I've only ever made from scratch one handle so far. Jordan actually has that hatchet, and I have hung, I don't know, three or four axes now with either old refurbished handles or new handles. But now, I got a box full of handles. So, I got this old gnarly girl. I got a handle for this one. I got a handle for this Collins. I got a handle for this little HB hatchet. And then this little guy, I don't know what this one is, but it says Sweden on it. I don't know if it's HB, I don't know if it's Grand Force Brooks, I don't know anything about it other than it's Swedish steel. And then my father-in-law has a couple old, a hatchet and an ax, and he is going to use and abuse them. He already has this old hatchet of his. Look at the mushroom in he's got in there. Just, it's so bad that I'm gonna actually probably have to physically take a sawzall and cut that off and then grind it down. It's, it's how the eye isn't damaged or this thing isn't cracked yet, I don't know. So he is going to be testing my fitment chip beyond what most guys would probably do with an ax. He's got this big old, big old gnarly splitter right here too. It's got the grooves in there to, to help it from not moving back and forth. This is a pretty common head, but it's a big old splitting head. So I got handles for him for those, and then those other four, these two big guys, and these little ladies, all in here. So let's open them up. This company is House Handle Company. For anybody that's into this stuff, have, may have heard of them. Fairly inexpensive, never used them before, don't really know anything about them, but let's see. The thing I like about this, they're actually they're better than I thought they were gonna be. I'm not gonna lie. They come with a wedge, but it's a softwood wedge and actually comes with a step wedge as well, which is pretty cool. That's my 30 incher. That's what this guy's gonna go on. That's gonna sit just like that. I'm not a big fan of big, long 30 plus to 36 inch handles. This is 30 inches and probably about as long as I would do for a handle, but I gotta say, grains of 45. I think this handle was like $7. It's a 45 degree on the grain. You can pick, you know, they have cheap handles or double A grade handles. That's pretty cool. This is a 28 inch straight handle. I've never hung a straight handle. I thought it'd be cool putting, uh, putting this big old nasty looking used up girl on a straight handle. Yeah, I think I'm right. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Again, these aren't fancy, you know, these aren't like beaver tooth handles or anything super crazy fancy. But for a guy just starting out practicing, I'd rather ruin a $7 handle than a... Wow, this one's cool looking. It's like all burnt. They do come with lacquer on them. You can get them without lacquer. There's three different options if you pick the double, this grains. That grains really good. 28 inch. 28 inches, 28 and 30 inch, I think are my favorite sizes. But there's three, they have a double A option, which is like a dollar 50 more than their like normal option. And then they have three other options within the triple or the double A. You can get no lacquer on the handle. You can get it octagoned and hand picked, I think. And each one costs an X amount more. I didn't do any of that stuff, but you know. Oh, look at this little fella. Huh? Oh, that's gonna be sweet. 
The only way I'm gonna build axes on this video because it is so off the cuff from what we do. We're hunters and outdoorsmen and fishermen, but if you guys tell me down below in the comments if you actually want to see this or are interested in this. Again, I'm a novice. I'm not going to be showing you exactly how to do it. I'm going to just show you the tools that I'm going to be using to do it um, on a limited budget. Very, very limited budget. But if you guys are interested, let me know down below. Um, I would love to do videos on this because I'm, I'm super into it. It's so, it's so much fun. But if not, I won't bore you with it. Plain and simple, that's fine. Everybody, everybody likes things and everybody hates things. So if this is one of those things you're not gonna like, that's fine with me. So yeah, again, very random video, but just wanted to kind of get those, you know, give you guys a tour of the farm. It's coming along pretty good. I'm excited about being able to kind of go back to the old school hunting where I'm not necessarily hunting a certain deer or hunting this stand because of this reason. I'm just going out and I'm hunting just like I would when I was growing up. Just, there's a deer trail there, I have a, tra a tree stand, I'm gonna sit it. I don't know if I'm missing deer or not, you know? So, I'm looking forward to that a little bit. And then, it's pretty cool to be able to share this with you guys, hopefully you're into the act stuff and I can do a video. If not, that's all right too. But that's gonna be it. Hope you guys like the video. I know, again, it's random, but that's just kinda how I am lately. Just a little bit random all over the place. But, four more days. Four more days and we're in a tree stand. Ooh. I'm thinking around the 1st of October for the release date on all the new hunting footage. What do you guys think about that? October 1st, right after the moose hunt, start going into deer season, then moose season, and then continue with deer? I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. We appreciate you. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>